Hiya, this is Tricky Ricky and welcome to another video. This time we're talking about the Canyon Neuron Orb. That is actually a very good question that I ask myself. Why would I do a video of the Canyon Neuronon when there are already quite a few videos on YouTube reviewing this bike? Channels like EMBN, Mountain Bike Rider, they've all looked at this bike and uh, put their reviews up for everybody to see. Simple answer, I'm bored, it's coronavirus time and I just thought I'd bang as many videos out as I could and I haven't done one yet about the Canyon so let's go. So first up, just a bit about the bike. Uh, when I actually got this, um, I got what I could afford at the time, which was the 6.0. Came by default with a Fox 34 rhythm fork. Um, a couple of other things like the cheap Canyon pedals, uh, the grips that came with the Canyon lock-on grips, actually quite good grips. I just prefer the GP3, I like the ergonomic shape. Um, so I basically changed all the contact points was the first thing I did, the saddle, the grips, the pedals. Uh, I took the SLX cassette off just because I hate the step up from 37 to 46 tooth. Um, so I've actually put a Sunrace MX-8 cassette on there which is a much nicer spread of gears. It's, a, it's still an 11 speed, 1146, uh, it just works nicer. Uh, I recently uh, changed the wheels, upgraded the wheels as well purely to shave a few pounds off. Or oh, let's not forget, I'm English, a few grams off. Um, the wheels that it came with, Alex Rims EM30s, uh, purpose built for e-bikes, very strong, very nice rims, uh, nice solid Dior, uh, Shimano Dior hub, um, but they weigh a ton, they're basically 2.2 kilograms for the wheel set. These DT Swiss EX511s, I've read loads of reviews of them, uh, and they are absolutely bulletproof, uh, according to the reviews they can basically withstand a nuclear blast. So, uh, and they're about four to 500 grams lighter for the pair um, compared to the Alec rooms. So, I'm running this bike at around about 22 kilograms. Still heavy, still weighs a ton compared to my other bike. 
um, but it is actually much easier to handle and also um, I'm not losing anything on kind of rim width these are both 30 mil inner width so uh, and, they, and they do have a fantastic reputation the the new line of the DT Swiss wheels so that's uh, the, the kind of upgrades the main upgrade though is the Fox 36 fork um, I wanted something I kind of wanted a spectral on I mean being honest I wanted a spectral on but I also wanted a bike that I could commute on and the mullet build of the spectral uh, with a fat tire on the back whilst it would have been fine for commuting I just felt like a 29er front and rear would be more efficient and it just a, just a nicer commute um, however the Fox 34 that it came with was probably a little bit on the weak side for such a heavy bike and for just for such a heavy system weight um, so I did upgrade him, I did go with the upgrade to the Fox 36, the beefy stanchions and I've got a fairly short travel, I've actually over forked it by 10 mil, so I'm running 140 travel on the front as opposed to the 130 that it ships with but for a Fox 36 that's that's short travel, 36 has go up to, in a 29 I think go up to 180 mil in travel so running it at 140 just gives me that extra bit of stiffness um, and it, I just, it feels like the bike can just hit a lot more stuff. The run that you saw earlier in this video was up at Lady Canning's Plantation, which is a cracking little mini mini bike park, um, which has some kind of fire road, um, almost like dirt track trails running up to the top. And then you've got two purpose-built runs, which are both quite flowy trails. Uh, one blue steel, which you saw in a, in a previous video, it's much faster, much more flowy. Uh, and then the one earlier in this video was called Cooking on Gas. A few more drops, very uh, much tighter switchbacks, tighter burns. Um, actually, I prefer the Cooking on Gas trail than I did with this video. Um, it's a great, great bike park. I'll actually put a little image up now so you can so you can see the image of me pointing at the sign there. Um, but yeah, the Canyon Neuron on. I think once you decide to go with this bike over the Spectral and then decide to beef up the forks, you are effectively getting the, the Spectral spec, um, albeit with 11 speed instead of 12 speed, but with a 29er on the back. The frames and frame geometry are, are pretty much the same. The major difference is the Canyon Spectral on does have adjustable frame geometry. There's actually a little uh, kind of bolt or or screw that kind of just fit just here which actually allows you to just just the geometry which either slackens or tightens up the head angle you obviously don't have that with the neuron um, but other than that the build quality of the build of the frame and the geometry of the frame is identical between the spectral and the neuron on so why did I get an e-bike um, I'm sure you're all or you've all been in that situation where you want to get out and ride your fitness is there Maybe you want to commute to work, but you know you're just not going to be able to do it on, on you're under your own steam. So that was it basically. I'd seen, I do subscribe to the EMBN channel uh, and they are sponsored by Canyon. I love the idea and the concept of the Canyon brand. Uh, I think they build, they build a cracking bike. Uh, there are other brilliant manufacturers out there obviously, but I, I just particularly like the Canyon brand. Uh, and I wanted to commute and I wanted to if I got that urge to go out and ride I didn't want my fitness level to hold me back and, and basically I wanted to get over the, the mental barrier of getting on the bike and, get, and, and riding so yes it was expensive yes these things are expensive if you want a capable full suspension mountain bike uh, e-mountain bike sorry that can do everything that can stand up to the to the abuse but yet you could commute on I think this this bike, the Neuron On, is the way to go. Uh, I mentioned in a previous video the new Neuron On for 2020, which has the integrated battery in the down tube, looks sexy as hell, and I'm kind of half wishing that I'd have waited um, and bought the new one, but I didn't. I bought this one. I've also got a spare battery for this one, and the beauty of that is this particular Shimano battery is quite compact. Uh, and it's relatively light compared to a lot of the other batteries um, so I can throw a battery in the backpack uh, and I basically got all day riding. The ride I did yesterday um, evening which was my I managed to get out and get my one daily exercise ride in. Um, thank you to the girlfriend there for actually walking the dog which would allow me to do that 
uh, rode from my house up to Lady Canning's, a couple of trails on Cooking on Gas, went a little bit further up into the Peak District and all told did uh, just over 11 miles on one battery and dropped the second bar just as I got back home. So 11 miles, quite a technical run. It's, a, it's basically a climb all the way up to Lady Canning's. So um, I dropped one bar on the climb up and dropped the second bar just as I got home. So I had plenty of juice left in the battery after a pretty technical and heavy climb. Um, and I didn't actually didn't take the spare battery with me and I had no need to take the spare battery with me. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I'm trying to keep the videos a bit shorter. Um, but yeah, final thoughts on the Canyon Neuron On. Um, this bike is actually going cheap at the moment on Canyon's website. This, this, this older version, if you're in the market, you can get a few hundred pounds off this now. Um, if you've got a, a few grand, three to four grand to spare, go for the newer version because it does look sexy as hell. Um, but don't be put off by the Neuron, thinking it's not going to be as capable as the Spectral. Yes, uh, a front fork, a Fox 36 is going to set you back a cool five, six, seven hundred pounds but it is worth the upgrade to give you the all singing, all dancing e mountain bike that you're after. So I hope you like the video. Um, if you do, drop me a like. Um, if you so feel inclined, subscribe and hit that bell for those notifications. Uh, I am gonna try and use the coronavirus as an excuse to get as many videos out as I can. Scratching my head now, and wondering what to do with the next video, but I will think of something and get another video out. Thanks to my friends who are already viewing and subscribing. For everybody else, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will catch you on the flip side.